What's up guys, Andrew aka The Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews and this week I'm bringing you a review on the Savior Equipment Guitar Travel Case. I kind of like to call this a gun tar case. If you guys want to see more cool gun case reviews like this, go ahead and like and subscribe to my pages on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Let's get started. guys let's get into this review of the savior equipment guitar travel case as i like to call it the gun tar travel case when you order this savior is going to ship it in this big giant box here really really nice box um, it's super padded on the inside and keeps the case safe from getting cracked in the shipping process um, this does come in three colors it comes in the color black gray and fde uh, the color that i have here today let me get this box off the table and we'll get this up here and show you guys exactly what this case looks like. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with the size and dimensions of the guitar case, guys. As far as the full size, it's going to be an overall length of 46 inches from the top to bottom of the case. It's going to be a width of 18 inches at the widest part and it's going to be six inches tall from top to bottom top to bottom so this does come with latches um, it's a high impact polymer shell it comes with polyethylene ester foam sheets on the inside there are six latches here guys on the outside of the case um, i'm trying to get this whole case onto camera for you it's kind of big so i don't have a very big table here but there are six latches on the outside. There is a top drag handle on the back. And we'll get this flipped over to show you. The top drag handle is here. So if you're pulling this like through the airport, it's also got these nice built-in wheels, guys, right here on the bottom. So you've got one here, one here, and they're kind of recessed onto the inside of the uh, case here. So that's really, really nicely built. It's also got this one stand here on the bottom, as you see. If you want to stand this straight up, it keeps it from tilting over when you've got it resting here on the wheels. So really cool option that uh, Savior built into this case. Also, it's got these nice little feet here on the back, as you see, guys. This keeps the bottom of the case from getting scratched up when it's laying flat on its back. So that's another cool little thing that Savior went ahead and built into the, the case here on the back. Let's get this flipped over onto the side. As you can see here, guys, the guitar case also has this one side carry handle, which is really, really nice. Uh, we did go over the enclosed wheels. Um, we're going to get this opened up and I'm going to show you the foam that it comes with on the inside. It comes with three pieces of foam. The pieces of foam are an inch and a half. Right, we'll open all six latches here. And on the inside here, try and get this all on camera. These are the three pieces on the inside. So you've got this one on top, which is flush with the top of the case. You've got one more here in the middle. And then you've got one more here in the bottom. And then you've got the back side of the case here. So you can use these pieces of foam guys to, I guess, put different configurations with this case, which is super cool. Um, in this case, I like to carry my Brownells BRN 180, and I can also carry a pistol with a couple mags. So I can put my Glock 19 here in the front. I can also put my wife's uh, Glock 43X there in the side. And in the other side here, I can take my 
BRN180 since this is a folding stock. And this also fits inside the case. Uh, what you can also do is you can hit up a custom foam cutter. Uh, there is a custom foam cutter on Instagram, Carolina Custom Foams. That guy does really, really good work where he can take the inside here at the top and the bottom here and just cut you out some custom uh, holes for all your weapons and make everything sit in here really nicely. Um, if you're gonna do it yourself, you can go ahead and get a grease pencil or get you something else that can mark this up really good and just draw an outline here, guys, on the outside of your weapon um, on the, the outermost part and you can kind of DIY your own holes for these cases. But if you want this set up for a couple pistols here, uh, BRN, it doesn't matter. You can put different weapons inside of here, guys. I can show you. Let me grab a shotgun or another rifle and stick it in there, and you'll be able to see. So as far as different rifle sizes or different configurations, say you wanted to run a shotgun, I've got my Mossberg 590 here. Um, it's got a cloud defensive here on the bottom of the fore end. I've also got my um, uh, Midwest Industries QD mount here on top with my RMR. So this really does have plenty of room for different weapons. Um, you could stick this shotgun right about here in this case. Still have room for another pistol in the front and a couple mags in different other configurations here, guys. So really, really versatile, having tons of room inside of this case. We'll take the shotgun out and I'll put my Foxtrot Mike 11 and a half inch bufferless folding rifle. And once again, guys, different weapons can fit in here in different places. It just depends on what you're using for or using this for. So you can have this open or folded and have a different piece of foam for this rifle and for the pistols and different mags. If you wanna carry a couple of uh, Dura mags in here, doesn't matter guys, really, really nice case. And I love that they give you a couple pieces of foam for different options in this case. And what you can do, say you're running this option here, all you do is slide that other piece of foam underneath and you can keep them all in here and have a really, really modular option or modular case, I should say. So really, really cool of them to do that. As far as this case goes, guys, um, if you're trying to travel with it or go on an airplane, um, we've got these really, really cool hasps or these lock points on the outside. You've got one here on the top, and then you've got another one here right on the bottom. Um, this is hinged on one side, so the hinges are all on this side of the guitar case. Um, this does qualify, I believe, as being able to travel by TSA on an airplane because it is a hard-sided case with a lockable point. Um, once you lock these two here, it's not able to be pried open from the other side. Um, everything is really solidly built. Um, it is something that is very discreet. If you're looking to carry this in an airport and not really call a lot of attention to yourself, I will note that you shouldn't be slapping a lot of gun stickers on these. Um, you can slap car stickers, music stickers, um, whatever you can think of, just not gun stickers to call attention to this case. And it's really just gonna look like another guitar case going through the airport and not draw attention like the gun bags and gun cases that you see going through the airport all the time, or, or at least I see them going through the airport all the time when I'm traveling. A super, super nice option, guys. Um, again, it's got the six latches here on the outside. You've got the one, two, three here at the top. And here on the bottom, you've got another one, two, sorry, one, two, and three on this side. Um, it does have the handle here at the top, side carry handle, and you do have the back carry handle, like I said, for pulling it when it's on the wheels here on the back. Really, really solid case, guys. Um, it's not very heavy, and this outside polymer shell is super tough and nice. Um, this isn't flimsy. As you can see here, I'm just really putting a lot of weight on this thing and it does not flex a lot. 
really really nice case and it does have these two lock points like i said here on the outside that should be able to get you onto an airplane and travel with your weapons if that's something you do and keep it super discreet um, i'm gonna get this packed up guys and give you my solid review on the savior equipment guitar case all right guys i'm going to give you my solid review on the savior equipment guitar travel case my rating is going to be an eight out of eight glocktopus arms the rating that i do not hand out a lot this savior case is an awesome case guys um, it's super durable on the outside the wheels on the outside are well built being able to carry this thing through an airport is going to be a breeze um, having the options of the different foam levels on the inside being able to cut those out to the different configurations that you want to be able to travel with this thing super super nice again see carolina custom foam on instagram uh, he's a super cool guy that does custom foam cutting for these cases go and check out his work i'm actually going to try and get some work done to this case whenever he's got his book back open guys so go ahead and check him out on instagram that's carolina custom foam um, again guys these are super super nice uh, the carry handle on the back when you're rolling it or the carry handle on the side really really nice um, it's a lightweight case again the plastic is durable on the outside if you're looking where to pick one of these up go ahead and click the link in bio or link in description that'll take you over to glocktopusreviews.com or my link tree uh, click the save your equipment link and that's going to take you over to the website you can go ahead and pick these up i know right now i think one of them was sold out which was the gray but they usually come back in stock pretty quick you can pick up the black or the fde really really cool color options guys for those if you're looking for cool stuff to fill up these guitar cases with or the guitar case as I like to call it check out brownells.com brownells.com always has really cool deals going on you can pick up rifles brn 180s like I have and they fit in this thing super perfect guys if you have any questions or concerns about today's video go ahead and post those down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up on Instagram and YouTube that'll help me get my video out to more people with the algorithm if you guys like my reviews go ahead and like my pages on Facebook Instagram and YouTube on Instagram and YouTube make sure you're checking the bell icon that's gonna be the notification icon up in the corner that'll get all of my newest content over to you as quick as possible as always guys, stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.